Hello, beautiful brides. It's Chelsea Morin with Double Blessing Events. And today I'm going to share with you how to make your wedding personal and unforgettable so your guests remember it and have a great time. So I love lists and I'm super type A. So I'm having or going to share with you a list of four things today. So the first thing to make your wedding personal and unforgettable is to do things your way. Okay, if you don't like big weddings or big parties or big get togethers, then don't have a big wedding. Don't invite a lot of people. And on the flip side, if you really love a lot of people and you're like, yes, bring me all the people. I love parties. Then have a big wedding. Okay, do what is good for you. Do what is what feels right and what's natural to you that you're comfortable with. Okay. And try so hard, and I know it's so hard, but try to not let what other people say get in the way of what you're really wanting. And don't let their opinions sway you from, like, to either side from what would actually make you happy, okay? So the second thing is keep your guests in mind, okay? I know that your wedding is your special day and you want it to go just the way you want it to, but also it's an experience for your guests. Okay. You want to keep them in mind. You want to make sure that your wedding is something that they actually enjoy and that they have fun with. And one way that you can do that is to make them feel like they're actually experiencing it with you and sharing in it with you instead of just being like an audience member or a viewer that comes and like watches a show. Okay. So you want them, you want to make them feel a part of it. And some ways that you can do that, uh, one example that I can think of off the top of my head is at my wedding during the ceremony, I would actually say comments and remarks to the audience, like to the guests. <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean to say audience there. To the guests. Um, and they really, really enjoy that because you don't normally see weddings where brides interact with the guests not audience, guests, uh, uh, during the ceremony. And so, but that was just me. Like going back to the first thing, do things your way. I love doing that. I'm very personable and outgoing and social. And so that was just how I made it like me, okay? Um, another thing is when you come in and you're announced at the reception, then some things you can do is just say a few words to your guests say, I'm so glad you're here. Thank you guys for coming. It means so much to us. We wouldn't be here unless it was for you. Okay, make them feel acknowledged. Make them feel special. And also make time to actually go around and talk to your guests. And of course, you're not going to be able to get to all of them, but still, it will be so special just for them to see that you are going around and that you are making time for them, okay? So do things your way and keep your guests in mind. The third thing is show off your style and just be you. I mean, if you have hobbies or interests, bring that into the wedding. <laughs> Some crazy ideas that I've seen is the groom dressed up as Darth Vader, which, oh my gosh, was amazing. I've also seen another groom um, like wear a T-Rex costume, which was crazy. And then with groom cakes too, you can, let's say your fiance really likes a sports team or really loves video games, you can find a baker who can make a cake out of that or of that. And it's just, it's really, really neat, a really cool personal touch. Another idea is you can bring in those hobbies and interests to your decor and to your centerpieces. So let's say you really love Starbucks, you can totally have a Starbucks themed wedding. And, and you can use the Starbucks paper cups as your centerpiece and put flowers in it. Or you can have coffee beans as your wedding favor. I mean, you name it. And you could do that with Harry Potter. You could do that with a restaurant you love. You can do that with, I don't know, horses or, or something. So whatever, if you have a hobby that you're just obsessed with or you love, don't be afraid to bring that into the wedding because others will love to see that difference. So the last and final thing, number four, is just have fun. 
because ultimately your guests just want to see you happy, okay? And when they see you happy, then they're going to be happy and they're going to enjoy seeing you happy and vice versa. When you see your guests having fun and when you see your guests happy, then that's going to make you more happy too. Going back to keeping your guests in mind. Step number two is just make sure that you give them an experience that not only you're going to love and cherish and enjoy, but that they're going to love and not forget about and remember and talk about for weeks, months, years, okay? So real quick to summarize, do things your way. Keep your guests in mind. Um, show your style and get creative. And then finally, just have fun and relax and enjoy the day. All right, guys, that's it. If you can hit the subscribe button right here, that would be awesome. And make sure to click the bell so then you get the latest updates on the latest videos. Love you guys. Bye.